Hey guys! So it's almost winter sports season. Like, it's just right around the corner. So, in order to get ready for it, in order to eat this fluffy little butt down the hill, I gotta get in shape. So let's come up with some workout routines that will make that happen. And there's gonna be two ways in order for you to see me go down the hill. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and be sure to follow along so that we can all get in shape together. Let's get right onto them then, eh? So our first workout, of course, is going to be the squat. So what you're going to want to do is get your legs nice and far apart. You're going to want to get nice and down, and then you're going to want to go up and down and up and down and we're going to want to do this about 10 times and you want to make sure you keep your body your back straight and your body as far down as possible now this works out most of your legs especially right here and keeping your body straight is very important especially when you want to make sure that you are holding a good position while snowboarding because you kind of hold this position right here. So the next one we're going to be doing is lateral lunges. So these involve spreading your legs out quite far and we're going to lean into one as far as you can. You're going to feel it along the bottom part of your leg. You're going to feel it up here and you're going to want to push into those quite hard. Now this is important, especially if you are confident in which side you're leaning with your snowboard. So being nice and strong with your dominant leg is going to be important. So if you know which leg is important, you're going to want to prioritize working that leg, pushing into it, stretching it and getting it ready. So say, I'm good at the right, so I'm going to keep pushing this way more than the other way and then I'm going to give that some attention. So then we switch sides and push on that a little and then you're want to get as low as possible. Just like that. <sighs> I said I was cold, now I'm not cold anymore. Now, number three is everyone's favorite, push-ups. Sadly, we gotta do push-ups. So the objective is going to be as many as you can do. So we'll see how much that is, but you wanna focus on getting your chest down as close to the ground as possible, not having your butt in the air, all sorts of things like that. Focus on your posture over the amount of push-ups that you can do. So let's get started then. Oh man. <laughs> and you're going to want to keep doing those as much as you can and be sure to give yourself breaks with that. Push-ups is hard, but they're very important, especially with working your upper body, your chest, your shoulders, everything. Your upper body is very important, even if you're snowboarding. Like you can't neglect that because it's gonna help you in the long run. So the next one we're going to be doing is kind of, is a plank leg lunge, essentially. So what you're going to be doing is getting into a push-up position. You're going to spread your legs out. You're going to push one in, and you're going to kick it out and bring it back. And you're going to do it with both sides, keeping your posture, trying not to move your hips, and bringing it back down into position. And you're going to keep doing that with both sides. You're going to want to try to do this for 30 to 60 seconds, and man, does it get to all of your body. So do your best and keep it up because that is going to work your core, it's going to be working your legs, it's going to be working your arms, it's, it's working on your overall stability. Keeping you as lumber and as good as you can be, especially when you're on the slopes. So our final one is going to be sit-ups. Now sit-ups are very important, especially for working your core. So you want to be making sure you're getting nice, big sit-ups. You want to make sure you're going all the way up. You don't want to be using your legs for any of it. So make sure your legs are staying where they are. 
you're going all the way down and you're going all the way back up and you're going to want to do these about 10 set 10 or whatever you feel comfortable with now you want to be feeling a burn right around your tummy and you want to just keep going until you're all set and that should be a full set of all the workouts then so there we have it following that routine me you anyone we should be able to get ready to shred those slopes and rock it come snowfall in like half a month so i'd like to thank you guys so much for joining me on this working out with me and hanging out and i will definitely be seeing you guys on the slope in my next video hopefully making a ton more content and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching be sure to subscribe like yada 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 comment if you think that there's anything i missed or better ideas i could have done and i will see you guys next time bye